So I finally got you guys the Arc Hunter build a lot of you guys have been asking for. With this Arc Hunter build, you're gonna have unlimited heals, unlimited melee. You're not gonna really have to reload. And when you do reload, you're gonna reload extremely fast. You're gonna have up to 75% weapon damage, depending on the type of weapon that you have. We're gonna get up to 415% melee damage or 385 if you're not gonna be using tractor canning. We're gonna have a crazy good ability regen and we're gonna have an extremely tanky hunter. I know I'm talking a lot, but I hope you guys have been paying attention to the gameplay because it proves all the points that I just said. And we're gonna show you guys how to build this. And to be honest with you guys, I really wasn't gonna even upload this video because I'm thinking I'm a little late into the season, but I saw this comment in one of my videos and I was like, you know what? I got you. So for the guy named X0804, Appreciate you for being subscribed to the channel. And I know this video is going to help you out and I hope it helps out others. For the people that does help out, please be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And let's go ahead and get into how to set up and play with this Arc Hunter build. Alrighty, so the way it works is very similar to the Solar Titan. The first thing we're going to go ahead and explain to you guys is how the melee works. Because again, I thought I, I knew how it worked. But in reality, I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you guys. All right. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do with this build is get three melee ability kills. They have to be melee ability charged kills. They can't be jolt. They can't be on charge. They have to be charge melee abilities. So that's my first one. That's a charge. I'm going to go ahead and roll to get my melee ability back. That's two charge melee ability kills. I'm going to go ahead and roll to get my melee back. And then that's three uh melee ability kills now that i have that timer i have limited time so you have to be kind of quick what you want to do is go up to a target roll around him and then one two punch him and that should just rip his throat out and just run around now that we got the times uh combination blow times three all we have to do is roll around the enemy so we can get punched and then we just do a one two punch melee that's all we have to do. And if you notice, our combination blow is the goal to keep it on. So all we have to do is go up to enemy, roll around him. He's going to punch us. Shotgun. Well, we killed somebody else, but we could still do it to him again. And then there you go. We still got combination blow times three. These are literally all the majors in here. They're, they should spawn some more. Hopefully they can spawn within the timer. Actually, it doesn't matter because we can get it from these guys. You're going to notice bump. You're gonna have the as long as you have combination blow times three all you have to do is roll next to an enemy and then i'll watch this you see what i'm saying like as long as you have combination blow times three all you have to do is roll next to an enemy and once they punch you you do the one two punch that's really kind of the goal once you have built it up another thing to really know is that you don't have to get meleeed to get the bonus damage once you have your combination melee times three, you can get melee or you can melee somebody. If you notice here, I melee somebody else. I rolled, then I punch and I still got all the melee damage. So you don't have to get punched to get the melee damage. You do get more melee damage if you get punched because we have a mod on us called Spark of... Uh, I forgot the name, but when you get meleeed, you output 75% more melee damage. So getting punch is a good thing. Like, you know, it's going to help you get more damage out. But if there's enemies that don't require the crazy amount of damage, then you don't have to get punched because all you're missing out on is 75. I say 75 like it's nothing, but all you're really re missing out on is 75 percent melee damage all right so getting into the actual build the first thing we're going to talk about is the recommended stats the first thing i want to go ahead and recommend is resilience for sure 100 percent resilience number one number two we want to go ahead and go with mobility and finally number three we're going to go ahead and go with discipline some of you guys might be talking about recovery you don't need recovery on this character because if you need to heal all you have to do is roll and punch as long as you roll and punch, you're going to heal. As long as you roll and punch, you're going to heal. And guess what? For having 100 mobility and um, just picking up some well mods, 
you're gonna unlimitedly have your melee ability so rolling and punching is your healing format so no need for recovery so again what i recommend resilience first mobility second discipline third and if you really care <laughs> intellect i guess so you can get your super fast for lost sectors and bosses and damage and but nothing else is really required for this build that is for the stats so moving on to our helmet our helmet is an arc helmet that is the only way you're going to find these arc mods and the first important mod we have is harmonic siphon if you have arc weapons in an arc subclass you're going to be making orbs with that weapon so if i'm using a arc weapon which i am we're going to be making orbs orbs are good because you'll see later on why we have on hands on we're going to be punching a lot of enemies with this build so it's going to give us super energy again none of these mods are set in stone if you feel like you want to change something replace something you're more than welcome to this is the build that i came up with and i feel like it's very helpful and very useful moving on to well of ions well of ions allows you to do 30 percent more melee damage if you pick up an arc well so we're going to be making arc wells from our melees we're going to be making arc wells from our abilities so this is going to allow us to do 30 percent more melee damage moving on to this next mod you want to go ahead and ignore it really doesn't matter it doesn't really affect the build too much at all so for future you know future people watching this build it really doesn't affect you that much at all moving on to our exotics we have the liar's handshake this is what's allowing us to do crazy melee damage and also allowing us to heal and i mentioned earlier in the video that it doesn't matter is if you punch or get punched you could do whatever you want and you don't have to use your arc melee ability to activate cross counter you can activate cross counter by just simply using your uncharged melee rolling around the enemy shotgunning him and then punching and then that's how you get the really big 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 boy damage or you can just get hit to even get more damage because when you get hit like I mentioned again earlier in the video, we activate this perk right here, which is called Spark of Feedback. Taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage by 75%. So it's, it's just whatever you need at the moment. So make sure you know what you're doing. And that's why I wanted to explain how the melee works. Regarding the mods, these change depending on what activity you're doing, you know, whatever is needed. But if you don't really need nothing important, I guess you can get back your class ability on melee since you're punching everybody and their mamas. Or you can, again, switch it up depending on what you need. Again, none of these are set in stone. Do whatever your heart desires. I'm just giving you some stepping stones. The next perk we have is Phantom Might. And again, for the people that don't know, Phantom Might allows you to do 25% weapon damage once you pick up a matching well of your subclass so since we're making uh since we're on arc subclass as long as we can pick up arc wells we're gonna get phantom might to get activated for both our energy and our heavy moving on to our chest piece these are one of the things that are making us extremely tanky on this hunter uh starting off with concussive dampener reduces income and area of effect from combatants it could be i think just splash damage it could be slam damage it just area of effect any any area effect uh we have void resist so it also reduces 30 percent damage from void uh void damage we have elemental ordinance it allows us to make wells from our grenades and then we finally have a artifact mod and this allows us to take damage resist from solar and arc by 30 percent from each one so all of this combined is allowing us to be extremely tanky with the fact that we have also 100 resilience and again, for the people that don't know, 40% damage reduction once you have 100 resilience. So very extremely tanky hunter. And regarding the subclass, we have something right here, which is while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. So since we're going to be in the middle of everything, we're going to be punching everything. We're going to be like just and just in the and just in the hecticness of all of it um we're gonna be extremely tanky with this setup moving on to the boots and for the boots we have uh reduced grenade cooldown each time you pick up orbs so this is beneficial from your teammates this is beneficial from yourself this is beneficial from anybody that can create orbs it allows you to get back your grenade really really quickly very very awesome for the arc grenade and the jolting ability that we have on our grenades we're gonna be punching a lot of things so as long as we're punching we're gonna be making 
uh, arc wells. And as long as we're picking up arc wells, we're going to be having a lot of things happening. We mentioned earlier, we're going to have font on my active for 25% weapon damage. We're going to have uh, hands, uh, not hands on. We're going to have well of ions active for 30% melee damage. So picking up arc wells is very good for us. So we're going to be making arc wells from our grenades and our melees. So remember when you're picking up those arc wells, exactly what's happening. Moving on to our class item. For our class item, we have, depending on what activity you're doing, these switch around. But if it doesn't matter your activity, I normally go with either special finish. Well, again, like I said, if the activity doesn't matter, then I would go with something like this. As long as I'm re uh, using my class ability, I'm going to get back my grenades. So every time I roll, which I'm going to be rolling consistently with this hunter, um, I'm going to be getting grenade energy, grenade energy, grenade energy, grenade energy, and bountiful well. Uh, whatever already active well mods I have is going to allow me to double up on them. So I already have one melee well maker on my boots. I have uh, elemental ordinance on my uh, chest. So those are going to double up on well mods, allowing me to pick up more and recharge more class ability, more melee energy, more grenade energy, and I'll allow me to recharge, you know, the regen of abilities. Amplified is good because this is a seasonal mod again for people watching this video in the future. This will probably be removed in the future, but all it's allowing me to do is stay amplified longer. And the reason we stay amplified with this character is because there's benefits in the subclass. And that is the next thing we're going to be moving on to is the actual subclass. Starting off with the abilities, the first thing we got is Gambler's Dodge. Gambler's Dodge allows us to have unlimited melee abilities. As long as we roll next to an enemy, we get our melee back. As long as we roll next to an enemy, we get our melee back. So always remember that in the back of your head. For the jump, we're using triple jump. You could change this to whatever you want. For the melee, we're using combination blow. This is what's allowing us to stack our melee times three and do crazy melee damage. And it also allows us to get our class ability back if we defeat our uh, defeat targets with our melee. So as long as you know you're having these chain events happening, unlimited melee, unlimited class ability, unlimited melee, unlimited class ability. So really, really good setup to have if you know what you're doing. Where for the grenades, we are using pulse grenades. Moving on to the aspects, the next one we have is lethal current. And what lethal current allows you to do is after dodging your melee, the next melee hit that you do is going to jolt the target. And if there's enemies around them, it's gonna shock everybody around, defeating them, weakening them, and I also shocking them as well. And if this target that you initially melee still is alive and it has this jolting target on them and you melee them again, it also blinds them. So again, very, very, very useful. Moving on to the next aspect and we got flow state and flow state allows you to get amplified from the defeated uh, jolted target. So as long as you jolt a target and you go ahead and defeat them, you're going to be amplified. And once you're amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly. You are more resilient while dodging and your reload speed is greatly increased. So really fast reload, really good resilience, really good rechargeability of abilities. So moving on to the fragments, the first one we have is spark of resistance and all it's doing is giving you 10 strength. And whenever you're surrounded by enemies is allowing you to take more damage. So giving you more resist towards the class and allowing you to be more tanky. The next one we have is spark of ions. Defeating a jolted target creates an iconic trace. Uh, this is going to allow you to recharge your abilities even faster. Since we're going to be jolting every single enemy with our melee, we're rolling, we're punching, we're rolling, we're punching, we're rolling, we're punching. We're going to be jolting them. So as long as they're jolted, we're going to get ionic traces. Ionic traces is going to recharge our abilities even faster. More grenades, more melees, more re just recharge ability, just a chain of events happening. Since we're going to be in the middle of everything, we're going to be taking all the damage. We're going to be getting punched. We're going to be getting melleed. We're going to be getting, I mean, those are the same two, same two things, punch and melee. We're going to be getting grenaded. We're going to be getting shot. We're going to be consistently weak all the time, but we're still going to be extremely tanky. I know you can see it from these clips. I'm, I'm consistently taking damage from master damage and I'm still consistently like just alive. Like even though I'm really weak all the time, but um, I'm saying I'm, I'm alive. So this is where this mod comes in handy is while you're critically wounded, your melee and your grenade energy recharges more quickly. So you're always going to have your abilities up no matter what. And finally, we have 
spark of feedback we talked about this earlier is taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage it's given us a resist and it's given us 75 percent bonus melee damage once we get punched and for the super we have the new super and it does really really good damage on bosses and, and it's very very useful and for the people that are wondering regarding the shotgun this is the specific role that i rolled for my shotgun i have one two punch I have plug list, I have assault mag, I have full choke, and I believe we rolled it with um handling masterwork. I could be crazy on what I rolled the masterwork, but that is the shotgun that I rolled. Regarding the SMG, the exact perks, I'll be explaining how you get the 75% weapon damage right after this clip. But this is a golden tricorn for 50% damage. This is grave arbor, so you don't have to reload on melee. We have armor piercing round so you can shoot through enemies and extended barrel for more range got a nice little reload so i got a pretty nice really well pretty decent roll except for masterwork could have been range because i already have grave robber um for the heavy the heavy changes and for the most part everything changes depending on what activity we're doing uh so for the people that want to go ahead and know how does the 75 percent weapon damage and the no reload works the first thing you want to start off with is with the melee well maker if we defeat a target with our melee, it's going to create an arc melee well mod. Well, an arc well mod, not melee well mod, but an arc well mod. Once we pick up that arc well mod, what it's going to do is going to activate Font of Might. And what Font of Might does is gives us 25% weapon damage towards our weapons. <laughs> That's what weapon damage means, Brad. Um, So we're going to have 25% for our heavy and 25% for our energy because they're both uh, arc weapons. On top of that, we have for this out of bounds, which is probably one of the best arc weapons in the game, very similar to the void one, the unforgiven. Void is unforgiven. Arc is this one, at least for my opinion. We have golden tricorn. It also rolls with demolitionist, which I think is really, really, really great, but I've been enjoying the golden, uh, the grave robber way better. But again, to go back on the 75% weapon damage, we have Golden Tricorn. And for the people that don't know what Golden Tricorn is, is when you defeat a target with this weapon and then you get a melee damage or a grenade dam, or I mean a, a melee defeat or a grenade defeat, you're going to buff this weapon's damage for 10 seconds to 50%. And this stacks with Phantom Might. So we're going to have a 75% weapon damage buff as long as we punch things and actually defeat them with our punch. So as long as we keep meleeing things and as long as they die with their with our melee, we're going to have a 75% consistent primary weapon damage once we have it activated. And we already know with this build, we have unlimited melee and limited class ability. So we roll and punch, roll and punch, roll and punch. And not only we're going to have the unlimited 75% weapon damage and unlimited melee, but we're on we're also we also have grave robber and grave robber allows it to reload our weapon. So now we never have to reload. We get a 75% weapon buff with the Phantom Might included. We get to shoot through targets for double damage because this does double damage through enemies. And I can show it to you guys that it does shoot through targets. And like, what else do you want from this build?